Oh, guess nice throw, man, just to get the, the oh, gap. Yeah. Wow. Hold this house. Oh my goodness, one hit, the next hit will do it. And the chip. My step. goodness. Wow, down to the wire. Jumping dust, my Ex beloved. Excellent maneuvering from Hellsap. Oh, the bounce start 6-8. Oh, yeah. Ah, the oh. overhead. Right as the grenade goes off, we got a combo. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and the grenade yeah. keeping Hotashi plus. Jekko has such limited options when in the corner. Yeah, what? She does have a DP at you least. You got a bust out. You do got the bust out. It is not one of the better ones, but it is no. a DP. It is... works. It's <laughs> something. Okay, 5H right. into Calvados yep. plus frames. The spike. What? Uh, he didn't care. Bumpers yeah, right. is disrespected. I don't care. <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Perfectly Balanced. And I am Aetherbeat. And what a show we have prepared for you today. You know, we had 128 men man, uh, man in the bracket here for Guilty Gear Exerd. And out of those 128 people, six of them made it here to the finals. And we are going to be seeing them here today, battling it out to see who prevails for this bracket here at EVO. Yeah, no, it's been such a Wonderful day here at EVO. Uh, it's been so hype seeing so many matches. Yep, that's what we got coming up. And right now we got Kadako, yep, facing off against Damon Doe. It's going to be May versus Slayer. And these two are no stranger to this matchup. But Kadako coming here all the way from Japan. Yeah. Um, formerly known as one of the best Mays in the world. Possibly the best May in the world. Yeah, I mean, still fighting for it. Yep, trying to reclaim his throne. Uh, and then Damon Doe. You know, and also no, no stranger to the stage. You know, one of the best slayers we've got. Yeah. Best slayer in the West Coast. Uh, arguably best slayer in the country. Yeah. Um, Though, we must admit, Crocs, Crocs is the one who knocked him into losers. Yep. Got to give credit where credit is due. Crocs knocked him into losers, and those two have been kind of scuffing it out. Yeah. Uh, for the throne. Crocs coming from East Coast. Draymond Doe coming from West Coast. So we're going to see who comes out on top here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Something so interesting about those two players is they represent such different styles. Yep. It, Damendo is, at the end of the day, he's playing a, a wild character. He kind of has to be, but he's still very slow and very methodical. And he, mm -hmm. wants, he wants to kind of grind the game in a Slayer sort of way. While Crocs is, I'm going to go pedal to the metal. I am going to hit you, and it's going to hurt. Yep. And uh, so Kadako, he is renowned in his combo game. Oh, yeah. There is no May who has a punch game like Kadako. Yeah, he is known for uh, really pushing May's combo game to its peak. You know that she has some combos where she kind of loops uh, like two H in the vertical dolphin. Yeah. It's like a number. You know, most Mays only go for like two, one or two. This man finds the max number he can do on each character, and it's like you can do four on this character, you can do three. He says three and a half on this character. I don't even know what a half means, but he he has all the made it, and he does it in plus R and in extra. Yo, yeah, most certainly. But yeah, so it's going to be wild to see how these two throw down. Um, and let's look at going into it right now. Yep. And a lot of these matches that we've seen over the day have been really close. So I'm super excited to see the, the matches on display here at top, at top six for here at Evo. Yep. Now has the Dolphin set up with the 6P from Slayer. 6P. You don't want to get counter hit by that. It's a wall bounce from anywhere on the screen. Caught with the overhead. Damendo's got a knockdown. Oh, but like gold burst from Kadako. And the ball, if that ball hits counter hit, you are in full tech. May's a combo no matter where you are. Yep. All right, the blitz and baits out the blitz back with the six delays on the 6K. Oh my god! The quadruple cross up? Yeah, you do not know what side this is going to hit on. Tries to take back the corner for Damendo. Yep, okay. You saw Damendo kind of held back because he kind of felt that Kadaku was going to try to jump out of the corner there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yep, Dandy Wire C. Man, Kadaku sitting a lot of meters, spends 25 of it. Yeah. You see Kadaku's smart use of the 2D there. Has lots of active frames to catch the Slayer dash. All right. And Demendo trying to jail Kadaku here in this corner. Gets the throw. The tip throw. Taking the first round. All right. Good start here. And Kadaku basically has his full burst back. Oh, my gosh. And that's a counter hit. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Takes the first point again. Good block from Kadako here. Yeah, oh my dude, goodness. Dude. But you gotta be scared for this character still has uh, Demendo still has a hundred bar. And look at the risk. Oh, oh, oh the biggest of hits, the trade. Yep. Paying with the, in Demendo's favor. With a risk bar like that, it was over. Yeah. The way, the way risk bar works is as long as there's any of it filled up at all, none of your hits scale. Combo your combo will not scale. On top of that, if it's flashing like that. 
until it stops flashing, every hit will be a counter hit. Yep. Every hit. It's so much, especially Slayer, who already does so much damage. Yep. All right. But those were very close rounds, though. We'll see how Kodako comes back from that. All right. Knockdown. I think the BDC early. Yep, it's very hard to keep Slayer and Oki because his BDC gets him out of so many things. Yep. And especially in scramble scenarios where you're not quite certain who has the advantage, BDC really does help to even those odds. Yep. Or at least tip them even further into Slayer's favor. Exactly. BDC being a backstab cancel for those who don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh but the big counter hit from Kadako. Kame, uh, Kadaf using a lot of JS here to control the neutral. Oh, big counter hit. This is the confirm though. And Senga like that? Is that how you feel? But clip of the 6 8 for Daymendo, but the backdash the is back gonna beat that by. The 2D may have been incredibly good backdash. One of like top five in the game, I think. Most and certainly. 2D, lots of active frames, only minus one on block. Very good against Slayer. Yeah, and, and relatively quick for 2Ds. Yes. And low profile. Yeah. Okay, but Daymendo's got the corner position here, but Kadako trying to super jump out, but Daymendo ready, backs off, tries to maintain the corner position. Daymendo has been really good at dodging all these J2H's. Did you see this? Yeah. I don't think he's been hit by a single one. But he's gonna get hit by a 6H, just knocked oh. into the corner, here comes the oh, Dolphins. Oh, right, just said he got hit by two, yes indeed. Okay, 6 ping under the balls, trying to move around. Slayer, yeah. with his limited mobility, kind of having a hard time dealing with the balls, because he has a, just a step dash. And a kind of a short air dash too. Yeah. It's a fast air dash, but it's a short one. Yeah, it's really impressive, or it's really useful in, in pressure, but once you're trying to move and navigate around things with it, it can get real quite hard. Yep. Oh man, nice 5 pm here. And this is real scary. You're not going to get knocked down by a Slayer with meter, and... He's walking. Yeah. You know, he was walking forward because Crocs does his mix up where he dashes through you, yep. and does burst off, and you don't have a chance to react. No. Nope. Because that's a plus zero super. So you just have to guess. And that is why Pepper was walking forward. forward. It may have looked dumb if you don't know, but we, it we know. was not dumb. It was a 50-50. Yep. <laughs> and it's why, you, like you see like, wait, why did he just run up burst, or like walk, walk back burst dot? It's <laughs> yeah. like, well, you could cross it up. <laughs> but okay. any random thing that Slayer hits you with, it could be death. You gotta be clean. Gotta watch out for the BDCs. Watch out for, the Eternal Wing Super. Oh my god, did that okay, angle good out? Angle. Okay. Oh, has to jump out, get good air there, bro. Man, is he really, he's really clawing it back. Yep. Man. I mean, we, we want to talk about clean. Pepper is really showing that they have been clean this entire tournament. Oh, and the double head Morbid covering the sky with the ball hit. Oh my god, all right. This is going to be a hard fought game three. Yeah, you could never count Peppery out. Good throw. Slayer's dandy is striking bull, but not throw in bull. And the chase down, trying to get that big 2H does get the follow up yeah, though. Yeah, it is kind of a weird frame trap, 2S, 2H. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the game for the arm. It was such a good start for Day. Yeah. Even that round was such a good start for Day. Yeah, you know, he's doing like things that are, are working, but it's just certain things are clipping him. Right. And uh, the arm's just exploding with it. If I had to, yeah, if I had to name one of these characters that would get more momentum from a clip, it's definitely Ramathal. Mm -hmm. Slayers all can do a lot of damage quickly, but Ramathal is the one that takes you coast to coast into yeah. a crazy mix-up. Yeah, it's the it's the situation that comes after because Slayer yeah. has an okay mix, right? But Ram has the mix. The mix. This like almost the fifth of mix. Yes, and perfect situation here for the arm. This is exactly what you want to see. Who cares about the life lead when you just can't get out of this situation? Yeah, exactly. Okay, 50 meter here. Ah, the command grab. Maybe doing it to avoid a dead angle, too. Yeah, yeah. And good stuff here. Gonna bait out the scoop. Okay, but, but eternal wings. And that is a lot of damage and stun. The first. Not that much life. You must be confident. It does have 100 meter. Okay. Yeah. Got the Alvados. Going for the chip out. Even and if it does, one. yeah, it, it pushes you back enough that you're fairly safe. Yep, and you could see David oh, trying to speed in the David had had such few options because he could not take another Calvados. Mm -hmm. So he was flying around the air doing whatever he could to not be on the ground, and it got him, you know, hit in the end. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> is the arm about to go up 2-0 from this? Because there's no okay. Burst is about to come back. Oh, good mash out. David really doing a good job challenging some of these uh, setups. Yeah, and I like the side swap. Gets out of the corner. 
Big pile bunker, not a counter hit though, unfortunately. And the JK stopping the air approach from Ram, going for the Helter Skelter again. It gets the hit here. Okay, first from uh, the arm. Good punch in the sword. Yeah, and the awareness to do it when you can, when you have free time, just go ahead and get it out of the way yep. now. Gimda does have 50 meter. He hasn't really been using dead angle this set. Oh, trying to chase down that jump out with the 6th age. Ah, uh, PRC, yeah, often use that meter for PRC. What a trade, but he bursts. Oh no. Uh -oh. One more guess for game. I like. He's alive. Oh, he doesn't have the health to take any more chip damage with the tail end of. Guess 50 meter too. Can you oh. get it? Should be enough. Yep. Day and the crowd is exploding right now for yeah. Day. That was just a superhero moment with yeah. that crosswise. Right there. I guess the anti hair kind of hit crosswise and managed to stabilize the combo into it straight down dandy. Oh, a trade. Oh man, David are really going on the offensive here. Not well, no longer really going for crosswise in these anti airs. Their arms doing a good job avoiding many of yeah, them. Yeah, especially when you have that stall. Going for the burst dead on time did not hit though. But can't punish because he flew across the screen. Yeah. Nice. The JK actually cleared the sword out. The clash and the crossbar is actually letting Damon to escape. Oh. Without getting punished. Looking for the burst there. The arm going to go ahead and corner carry. Okay, he's got 50 meter. He's up to use blitz, but not dead angle. Chicken blocks the sword. Nice. nice. And has meter, has suspended on keeping 2D safe. JP is to keep the arm from getting out of the corner. Mappa's in. Again. Oh man, the sword caught him on the ground. Yeah. The 6k. Oh, this is going to be a big confirm. Uh, no meter for the arm to super. And burst will come back. Will he use it? Oh, that's a big counter. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. The scramble situation. The match. And the, the burst. Instant burst from day right when he gets it back. Oh, the my from God. The, arm. the 5k. Unfortunate. Yeah, and now day doesn't have burst for this round. Okay, the trade. No. Oh. Crosswise. All right, good start for Damon though here. Oh, doesn't no weird knockdown, but he got it. Yeah, still has corner advantage, but the burst actually going into the corner. Oh, again, Damon the will get knocked down from so high. I think he's trying to get that really low air tech, mm -hmm. but it really backfired on him right there. Oh man, that really okay. The four way. Oh, uh, cross up. There's a cross up. Day has corner now though. Okay. Oh, that's exactly what he needed. This is yes. so much damage. Has the meter up as well. Good block. Ah. And he has a hunt. He has all of his bursts. The arm does not quite have his yeah. burst back yet. Yeah. There's yeah. a big advantage going into set point, tournament point. Yeah, that was a perfect option for Day. The unblockable had enough meter to RC off of it. Only way he could combo. Ram doesn't have escape options either, so. Yeah. That's oh my god. Okay. OTG. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, it. is this the round where David just fucking runs? I'm sorry. This runs away with this. Damn. There's, there's, there's something. No. You belong to NorCal now. And the immediate burst from Day has the life lead. Wants to make it work. Okay. The arm. Oh. oh no. You gotta do some Ram stuff now. You. Yep. P. It comes back to Stan P. And Slayer 5P. Slayer 5P comes right back. And Damon though defends NorCal against. Because that's California. Yes, Again, yes. Vader. Oh, perfect ending to a perfect story. Yes. Day of the hero had to sacrifice GC Yoshi to get here. Yep. Making it through losers. Tough grand finals reset. And then neck and neck end the game five, round three. Yeah, that was so intense too there at the end. Yeah. Like even though Day got all that, the arm was still getting out. The that... arm had already shown his ability to like take entire rounds with yeah. his gameplay. Yeah. yeah. Even having a bit of life left. If he's not done, the D is not done yet. Yeah, and <laughs> but Day, even that two P mash out at the end to get out after the burst. It was it's just that's how Day plays. He just knows the gaps. He kind of is like a superhuman of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And um, the way he uses his resources, the way he uses his meter, it's just beautiful to see. And uh, it's very, very exciting. Hope you guys liked it in the crowd. Yeah, that was great. Uh, such great gameplay from all eight of our competitors here. And, man, it was what a blast. Like, I loved every second I saw of it. And, like, you know, big props to Slashback um, finally bringing another big tournament to California after so long. Um, 
It's a yeah. great venue. It's been running smoothly. Um, and a lot of great, like, great events here. Great top eights. And, a, you know, this was one of the greatest Guilty Gear events I have experienced this yeah, year. Yeah, so. it's been super fun. Oh, man. Money's up. Good mash. Yo. Oh, and here we go. Oh, the fake meaty? Oh, you know what? Can you call it a bait if you got punished after that? No, it's the most <laughs> elaborate bait we've probably seen tonight. But it did look kind of sick though. I'm a, yeah. Okay, get the fireball out there, get the eat. This boy's full. He's ready to fight. Yeah. No. Nice air throw! Yo, true Guilty Gear player over here. Again? This is just the first game. Wow. There are the YRC info and went right through that DP. Region YRC is broken. She needs it. So yeah, Mike is warming up. He's just got some food in him now. My boy is no longer hungry. Oh my god. Alright, full bash. That was a fast game one too. Yeah, it was. Two danger times. Good block on the DP yoke. It's the DP is starting to work better and better. For yeah, me. he's starting to figure out exactly how Alma likes to reset his pressure. Alma still got those though. Waited, got him to JK. Okay, jumps out. Oh my God, puff ball. Oh man, still a pickup. Okay, goes for the combo, gets the damage into safe jump. Oh no, debate with the double jump. And once again, Amadeus on set point. Can Muddy once again activate the last game power up? WrestleMania. Oh my god, yo, is it happening? Okay, the reverse though. It's thrown though on the pack. Oh man, yo! Hello, RTL. That's a conversion. Yeah. Charge beak. Okay, getting kind of low. Oh, okay, the throw. Good chuck on the sway. Oh wow, the low VCL plus on block. I think from the speed dive. You no, know, which way are you gonna block? Ooh, oh, finally gets JD. the DD again. Able to string together these and once, strings. And once again, Fu doing the delayed burst to stop the Oki. Oh, get the counter hit. Oh, the oh, presence of mind, Fu R seems to block the blitz or uh, the burst. Doesn't get a full punish on it, but there is no burst, even though it might not come into play here. Uh, blitz throw coming from Fu. Oh. Impeccable defense. Oh, the close slash. Probably throw OS. Is he blocking? Who does wow. block? Marlon's cranking out uh, the resources, trying to open Fu up for that round. Uh oh. Fu gets the blend. One, oh, and that's it. Fu Go gets the overhead. High. Both these characters have very disgusting mix on knockdowns. Yeah. Very strong projectile, Loki. <gasps> oh. Crouching under the HCL and then punishing the air dash with 5P. Pinpoint precision counterplay. And Fu is saying, I'm still in this. I haven't given up. Yep. Fu is very much still in this. And this man is learning as the set goes on. So every game, he's getting stronger. Uh, the 5H anti air again. These have all been connecting. Another big chain of damage for Fu. And this time, Marlin probably expecting that the the overhead gets hit. <gasps> Catches the back dash, and he's can he kill off of this? Yes, this he can. This is gonna kill. That's gonna be the match. Marlin takes it 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. What a great set from these two. Marlin Pai coming out top, but Fu putting up a very great fight. Okay, and we start off, oh, but a teleport into the close slash. So yeah, one of the buffs that Testament received was um, 
no limit on how they throw uh, skull um, skull uh, the the skull projectiles. So they can actually just have two of those guys. Even while one's traveling, they just throw another one. It gets a uh, wall of projectiles. It's hard to get through. Meanwhile, May, another big winner of the patches, May's uh, Dolphins, Horizontal, lost two frames of recovery, making them extremely good on block. Um, a lot of people are thinking that May is probably very strong this patch. So we'll see how these, uh, these buffs match up against each other. Okay, Dolphins, yep. S Dolphins are now minus three on block. You are an RPS when you block them. Okay, good stuff from the H Dolphin. GD and the JH. And now she's in. Ah, uh, good anti-air projectile on the H Dolphin. Good blocks. Uh, and there it is. Oh, but too early on the command grab. And that's going to do it. Miku taking the first game. Scuba Gear is doing a pretty good job of keeping May out, but um, there are like a couple times where he makes like a certain error, like he teleports and then gets hit, and then like May just kind of steamrolls off of that hit. Oh, now that's plus. Doesn't capitalize off the 5k, but you know what? He's at full screen, so that's good enough. Oh, and now he is in the corner. That's going to be a wall break. Oh, didn't go for the super. I don't know. Yeah, I'm shocked that you did it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that, not going for the super, it might have been crucial there. Okay, opting the FD now instead of pressing buttons into a, put a potential 6 b yeah, uh, Here we go, then Bra takes it out. Yeah, it seems like that first set was a bit of a struggle for Simo, but it seems like he's got the download now. Yeah, I think he probably got a lot of information just being able to watch his set from the FD. Yeah. Uh, 6P. He's got a really good 6P, which will deal with, like, you know, Viking's air approaches. Um, and also, because Eddie's the projectile, he can just actually, like, you know, Oki on here without having to worry about the parry, right? Or the super. Also, the Viking takes a bit more damage than most characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I like to try the, you know, the switch. Yeah, just trying to switch it up. Try yeah. to see if his axle wasn't working. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. Oh no, you're in the that mix. Oh. Are you still here? Right, okay, here good go. mash out. Mash out, but caught the jump back. And Solstice just coming out of that set against Elven Shadow yesterday. Yeah, we're ready for it. He's ready for hit to hit Faust. <laughs> oh my god, Panda Medic doing whatever they can to get out of this corner and finally finds their way out, but you know, Solstice uh, saying <laughs> Oh man, that, that <laughs> big mega mini. He's trying yes, to walk his slowest. Yes, my boy. He's, tr he's trying to walk his slowest to help out my Go man. He's like looking it. back. He's like, I know I see Papa's getting comboed. I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit. Yo, go forth. <laughs> Go forth, my mini, that control the neutral. Solstice doing a really good job of, you know, staggering the pressure to not touch him.